friend Jim here with JB's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the sure way of being able to get your mail from the States if, in fact, that's a concern of yours and it's something that you're interested in. But before I get to that, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's fast, free, and easy to do. And it's a community I know you want to be a part of. All you got to do is go to the bottom right-hand corner. There's a little red box. Tap on it, and you're subscribed. Go ahead and give us one of those thumbs up. Let's other people know it's a great video to watch about retiring here to Lake Chapala. Okay, so how do we go ahead and get our mail here at Lake Chapala? Well, I will tell you of some ways, but I want to tell you of the sure ways. Now, there's a couple services here that you can get that actually has like a address that's in Laredo and you would send your mail to that location in Laredo and then they actually have someone then it brings it down to Lake Chapala. Now our experience with that was not a good one. I'm going to share with you what it was. Um, there was a time that I was on government assistance in regards to health care and also food stamps. And so what I had done is Barbara had ordered some food items from me. I'm vegetarian, so there were some things that were on Amazon that I was able to buy with my food stamps. So we were told in advance that there was no problem with actually having that shipped down here. Also, I had medications that I actually had shipped down here to Lake Chapala by using this service. Now... <laughs> What happened was when we went to pick up, it was two boxes and a bag from Walmart with my medications in it that was inside of another box. When we went to pick it up, we got sticker shock. They told us that it was going to cost us 1,000 US dollars. 1,000 US dollars. That's what I said. You have got to be kidding me. There must be a mistake. And they said, no, that's the fee that they charge. So I went back to them about eight months later, I want to say it was, and said I was here and I wanted to say if maybe we could, you know, pay off some of the money to get, you know, some a box back or whatever it may be. And they told me that they had already taken it and just taken it to the warehouse and destroyed it. Well, I guess it was a lesson learned. So obviously, that is not a company that I personally, from our own experience, would refer anyone to. I realize they might have folks that utilize that service. I just tell you, we really felt like we were taken advantage of. Um, I don't know how they destroyed medications, but I because I had quite a few medications that had actually like saved up over a period of time. So I had probably four months or so that was in that package. I couldn't believe it either. So needless to say, I never got that package. I never got those package. I never got the food. Um, Barbara, because of the fact that I had my Medicaid and I was going to my appointments like I needed to, they reward you. And I was rewarded with a toaster of it. And that was also kept. So I guess it's a word of the wise. I would just say to you that isn't a service I would suggest um, that they're in San Antonio. And you can look it up to see what mail service is actually in San Antonio that I'd be talking about. So let's talk about the two ways that in fact you can get mail that Barbara and I have actually used. And we've used FedEx and we've used DHL. Now, I had ordered something from Amazon and because we're in Mexico, they actually sent me a, um, basically a mailing label that I put on the box that they then sent back to Amazon and it was through DHL. And I know that we've also had something that we sent through FedEx back to the States. So I know for certain that those two services, you can really count on. You can count on them getting there. You can count on them getting there. And the box is not being all messed up or broken or gotten into or any of those kind of things. 
So that was all a-okay. Um, and so when we had things sent to us, it's also come with no problems also. And I know I get questions about Amazon. Well, I order from Amazon US, Barbara orders from Amazon MX, and we get packages right here directly to the front door. What's interesting is they will tell me what day they're expected to be here, and it turns out that they're actually here like a day or two or even three ahead of time. So that's also a sure way about being able to get packages that are coming from Amazon because they'll come directly to your front door. So I hope this information has been helpful for you in regards to what to use. Uh, I'm going to have a couple pictures in the video itself that will show you what they look like, what the offices look like. Uh, there's actually, they're, they're both of them, they're right in Ahihik, so they're real easy to get to. And uh, that is actually, I would say, the only way to really send packages back and forth to the states is by using FedEx or by using DHL. Now, there's something else that we do. When we go to the States, we actually have a UPS store box. So the, USP, the, U, the UPS store, you can actually get a mailbox. We've had one of those for quite a few years. I'm going to say at least five years. And I had one even before that. Um, so we've had that. So we use that as our address in the States. So... That's one way, and then you just have them forward the mail, whether it be through DHL or through FedEx. Also, we have folks that go up to the states that are from the church, and what we do is we actually have our packages sent to that address, and they just bring them back in the plane, in their luggage, or they drive it back. Also, there's times where we've gone back home to Albuquerque or even maybe go and fly like over to Tijuana and cross the border into San Diego and we've had it forwarded to another UPS store, and we've actually picked it up there. So what I can share with you, those are really the three, I would say, ways of getting the packages. Either you've got like a UPS store or a post office box that you got packages to go to, and you can have a certain service that brings them down here, whether it's FedEx or whether it's DHL. Uh, the other way would be to have it sent um, through DHL or FedEx. And the other way would be is to have somebody, a courier that goes up there, picks up mail, and brings it back down uh, to Mexico. So I hope that's been helpful for you in regards to how to get a sure way of how to get your mail here at Lake Chapala. Well, friend, I hope that's been helpful for you. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I'd like to encourage you to do so. It's fast, free, and easy to do. On the bottom right-hand corner, there's actually a little red box. Tap on it, and you're subscribed. Go ahead and give us one of those thumbs up. Let's other people know it's a great video to watch about retiring here to Lake Chapala. Also, you can stop by, say hi, ask a question, leave an idea for a video, and also make sure that you hit the bell because that way you'll be immediately notified when our next video comes out and you don't want to miss our next video. So with that, as always, thank you for supporting the channel. Have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next video.